And that's right. I'd blow up the pipes. I'd blow up the refi. I'd blow up every single inch. There would be nothing left. And you know what? You'll get Exxon to come in there in two months. You ever see these guys, how good they are, the great oil companies? They'll rebuild that sucker brand new. It'll be beautiful. And I'd ring it, and I'd take the oil. They're using a shield. But we're That's fighting a very politically correct war. Yeah. Well, we see and that the other thing is with the terrorists, you have to take out their families. When you get these terrorists, you have to take out their families. They they care about their lives. Don't kid yourself. Mr. But they Trump. say they don't care about their lives. You have to take out their families. Donald J. Trump is calling for a total and complete shutdown of Muslims entering the United States until our country's representatives can figure out what the hell is going on. We have no choice. We have no choice. In closing, I want to salute the people of Paris for showing the world how to stay strong in the face of terrorism. Even as they grieve, Parisians have begun returning to their cafes, riding the metro, going to stadiums to cheer for their teams. Crowds gathered in the Place de la, de la République, including a mother who brought her children. She said, to let them see that we should not be afraid. As one Parisian said, Paris will always be Paris. And next week, I will be joining President Hollande and world leaders in Paris for the Global Climate Conference. What a powerful rebuke to the terrorists it will be when the world stands as one and shows that we will not be deterred from building a better future for our children. Now, obviously, this is a country that is based on free speech. But when it edges towards violence, when we see uh, the potential for someone t- lift, lifting that mantle of anti-Muslim rhetoric, or, as we saw after 9-11, violence directed at individuals who may not even be Muslims but may be perceived to be Muslims, um, and, and they will suffer just as well, just as much. Uh, when we see that, we will take action. That I think we have, yes, we have charged 225 defendants with hate crimes offenses over the last six years, most of those in the last three years. Um, since 9-11, we've had a, over a 1,000 investigations into acts of anti-Muslim hatred, including uh, rhetoric uh, and bigoted actions, with, with over 45 uh, prosecutions arising out of that. Um, I think, sadly, that number is going to continue. I would bomb the shit out of them. You know, before we get to number one, I just want to thank Glenn for putting up with all this. He is a good sport about it. I hope he's a good sport about it. He is an elected official, a state committeeman for the Republican Party here in Brooklyn, New York. Yeah, I know. I'm thinking the same thing. And uh, before we get to number one, keep in mind that this is just a parody, folks, okay? Of a man who's put himself out there as a public figure, who has publicly posted these things for the world to see, and all we're doing is providing them to a very wide audience here on Behind Enemy Lines Radio. But, uh, you know, listen, it's all in good fun. And it's all in the spirit of giving. And we're giving you something we hope you will never forget this Christmas season. Here's number one. Malakaliki makar is the thing to say on a bright Hawaiian Christmas day. That's the island greeting that we send to you from the land where palm trees sway. Hey, we know that Christmas will be green and bright. The sun will shine by day and all the stars at night. Melakaleki Makar is the Hawaiian's way to say Merry Christmas to you. Take it, girls. Melakaleki Makar is the thing to say on a bright Hawaiian Christmas day. That's the island greeting that we send to you from the land where palm trees sway. 
Hell, you know that Christmas will be green and bright. The sun will shine by day and all the stars at night. Medically, Marker is the Hawaiian's way to say Merry Christmas to you. Christmas will be green and bright. The sun will shine by day and all the stars at night. Medically, mock up is your wine's way to say Merry Christmas to you. Medically, mock up is a thing to say. On a bright Hawaiian Christmas day. That's the island greeting that we send to you from the land where palm trees sway. Hell and all that Christmas will be green and bright. The sun will shine by day and all the stars at night. Melikaliki Maka is the Hawaiian's way. To say Merry Christmas, a Merry, Merry Christmas, a Merry, Merry Christmas to you. I hope you all keep the Christmas spirit all year round. God bless. And that was the worst carol ever, right here on Behind Enemy Lines. Thank you so much for listening to all this. Those of you that made it to the end... Either you are blitzed out of your mind on eggnog or whatever your drink of choice is, or you are just a big fan of this show. Either way, thanks for listening so much. And just as a final thought for the evening, of course, check out Buffoon of the Year and put in your vote for Buffoon of the Year in the finals. Uh, polls will be open until, I believe it's going to be right around January 6th. It's going to be two weeks or something like that. We'll figure it out and we'll let you know for sure. And listen, the whole point of this thing was, yes, there are some tense times out there right now. There is a lot of chaos here in New York City, a lot of division here in New York City, and across the nation as a whole. But every now and then you got to stop, take stock in your family and your life and the ones you love, even have a little fun when you can. And that's kind of been the point of this show. We hope that you had fun with us on this Christmas Eve. Happy holidays, seasons, greetings, Merry Christmas one and all. And to all, a good night. And we'll leave you with this little number, probably because this is going to be one of the last times we talk together. Here's a great way to close out the year. Good night, folks, from the People's Republic of New York City, Gene Berardelli behind enemy lines. And we're out of here. Should all acquaintance be forgot? And never brought to mind Should old acquaintance be forgot And the days of old lang syde For old lang syde, my friends For old lang syde We'll take a cup of kindness yet for all anxiety. Should all acquaintance be forgot and never brought to mind? Should all acquaintance be forgot and the days of old Lang Syde? For old Lang Syde, my friends, for old Lang Syde, we'll take a cup of kindness yet for old Lang Syde. Our position has been compromised. It's time to roll out. Report for debriefing at www.behindenemylinesradio.us 
and look for regular communications via Facebook and Twitter at BEL underscore radio. You are the resistance behind enemy lines. Part of the Conservative Commandos Radio Network, a rock radio production. Copyright 2015. Back in seven days. Out.